home cookies with stamp messages how to make hi everyone my name is Lupita and welcome to the cookie couture where flavor and design collide if you are new here in my channel please don't forget to subscribe and push the notification button so you don't miss any of my cookie decorating videos in this video I'm gonna share with you how you can make in three different ways cookies with stamp messages so I'm super excited to share this tutorial with you and let's get started These are the materials that you're going to need for this cookie. You are going to need fondant, you can buy one that is already made. You're going to need ribbon pink food gel color, your favorite coral cookie recipe, stamp messages cookie cutter, you need a little bit of cornstarch. And corn syrup. The cookie cutters. First, let me tell you a little bit how to use these cookie cutters. Uh, these stamps come with some phrases that are already made, like this one that it says, I love you. You just need to insert them in the rails. Here they have a little spring. You just need to push here so that the little rail come out all the way up. And then you just need to insert the phrase or the letters that you're going to use, okay? So for this part I put mom. You just need to remember that when you're going to stamp the cookie it's going to look the other way. So you need to start making your phrases or your letters or your words starting from right to left. So for example I'm going to put I love you mom. So I'm going to start by the last letter of my word. another one that says happy mother's day as you can see the words are inverted okay I love also this one is very cute and uh, you have some phrases and also you have all the letters that you can use to make different words method number one tinted cookie dough Please click the link above to see another tutorial on how to make stamp cookies. I added a little bit of ribbon pink to my cookie dough. And then I mix it very well until all the color is even. Then I roll out the cookie dough using my rolling pin and my rings and now I'm going to cover it and chill it for a little bit so I'm going to cut the cookie I'm going to swirl it a little bit and I'm going to push very softly this Method number two. For this one, you're just going to need plain cookie dough. Very good. My cookie dough is already cold. So I'm gonna start cutting the cookie. So you're gonna push here all the way down until you can feel your mat. You're gonna make a little swirl so the cookie come out nicely. And then you are going to push and the cookie is gonna come out like that. So the way that I like to do this, I will transfer this to my baking sheet and then I will stamp them. The cookie is here and has this, so I'm going to stamp just the message. So I'm going to push the lever just a little bit. Oh, so pretty. And I am going to cut out more cookies because we're going to need it on method number three. to bake your cookies at 350 for 10 to 13 minutes. Method number three. Very well, here I have my fondant. This is from Wilchon, this is already made. 
and I'm gonna tint it in a very light pink using this ribbon pink from Chefmaster. So I'm gonna add just a little bit. I love to work with fondant because it's very easy and the colors turn out very very nice. I love this light ribbon pink. I will put my fondant in a clean mat and I will put a little bit of cornstarch in the bottom just a little bit and then I'm gonna use a fondant roller pin and I'm gonna put a little bit of cornstarch as well I'm gonna extend the fondant in a very thin layer normally you need to extend your fondant at a thickness of a 1 8 of an inch but I just go with the thinner that I can I'm gonna use the same cookie cutter that I used to cut out the cookies to cut the fondant. Now you're gonna cut out your heart, you're gonna press, you're gonna wiggle a little bit and then you're gonna push very softly here. So now here you have the I love you mom, very nice. And then you're gonna put this in your cookie and you're gonna use corn syrup to stick it to your cookie. One thing that you need to be very careful is that when you're going to stamp your fondant that the letters are in the correct place that you want them because they tend to move so you need to be very careful. Okay? This other one that it says Happy Mother's Day. Mm, they look so pretty and elegant. Now I am going to add a little bit more of the ribbon pink gel color to my fondant to make some other cookies. Now we're going to use a little bit of corn syrup to put together the fondant and the cookie. So I put a little bit of the corn syrup in a little container and I'm going to use a brush. So very carefully I'm going to spread the corn syrup in my cookie. Okay guys, this is it for today. I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, leave me any comment, question or suggestion. I will be very happy to take a look at them. Follow me on my social media and always be super creative in all your baking and particularly in your cookie decorating and see you until next time. Bye bye.